Hey everybody, it's me, Erin Elise. <laughs> Welcome back to another Wednesday video. Today we're gonna get crafty because that's what I feel like doing. I also uh, did not want to spend any money today, but I wanted to be crafty, so I was like, hey, what do I have around that I could craft or do or make. I looked on the interwebs for uh, DIY crafty ideas and came across the No Sew Throw Pillow Cover. Basically, you take an old t-shirt, it's got a wiener on it, and you cut it into two squares and then make little strips, tie it together, and then stuff it. We have um, a dog bed that the dogs have chewed a hole into and they keep pulling stuffing out of and I kept fixing it but they keep messing it up. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put that stuff in to better use by making a pillow that looks like my dogs. Well, their cousin. It doesn't have to be like loose stuffing if you have just a, an an old pillow that you just don't want to look at that anymore you can just shove that in a shirt I don't know get a bunch of cotton balls something like that let's get started I'm gonna see how successful this is gonna be so you're gonna start by outlining the image that you want for the face of your pillow I used a piece of chalk and a measuring tape then outline another bigger box around that box mine's about two inches from the first box you can do it bigger if you have a bigger shirt. That would make it much easier. Now we're gonna cut along the lines of the bigger box. Now's when we're gonna start cutting all the little strippy thingies. I'm gonna do mine about finger width apart all around the edge. Before that though, cut off the corners. This top part's probably gonna be a pain in the butt because it's a scoop neck shirt, but it's okay. Tie all the edges except for one. All right, here's that dog bed I talked about. See, they keep pulling it out of this corner and it's super frustrating. I try to fix it, but they're just, I don't know. They keep messing it up. Maybe if I pull the stuffing out, they won't be able to get to it anymore from that side of it, so I don't know. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna use it for a pillow now, yay! Pull it out. So we're almost done. Um, I'm gonna add some more stuffing and probably retie some of these because stuff is oozing out. Definitely double knot, I think. And then we'll check in when it's done. Okay, I finished that pillow. Before I show you the end result, I will share with you some things I learned whilst DIYing. Thing one I learned, if possible, use a t-shirt where you can cut longer strips because tying the little bitty strips at the top was really difficult. Number two, when I was initially tying them all together, I was just tying it once because I was like, oh, I'll double knot it after the video, save some time, whatever. But once I started stuffing the pillow, they all started untying, so double knot it from the get-go. But anyways, I think it turned out pretty cute. I mean, for what it is, it's a t-shirt tied with little knots. So here it is, it's been here this whole time. <laughs> Never mind, no big reveal, it's, it's right here. Yay, isn't that cute? It's been a long day, boop. And it's like a little weenie and it kinda already matches cause I have turquoise blue around. So there's my first attempt at a DIY no-sew pillow. 
Comment in the underpants below if you've ever made one of these before and if you have any tips or tricks on it. I'm gonna just chill here with my, my new pillow for a while and enjoy the afternoon. Thanks for watching me craft, everybody. Bye.